Hello everybody, this is Reggie Time and on this video we're going to be looking at four or five pot limit Omaha hands I played in the recent session and the aim of the video is for me to get feedback hopefully from some experienced PLO players or some equally learning PLO players on how I played these hands and not only how I played them on how my thought processes were going through it. This isn't meant to, to be in any way education for anybody but myself um, and hopefully we'll get some good feedback that we can all gain from so we have the first hand um, I'm playing as Roman Reigns here not my name choice I allowed my kids to pick my Unibet screen names today and um, they picked some pretty shit ones but there you go so we have the Jack 9 10 Jack 9 10 Jack 6 double suited an opponent pretty much readless raises from the small blind think it's a fine hand to three bet so I do he four bets um we're getting two to one on a call here I don't know um feels like we need to call we're getting 450 to call 450 into nine pretty sure it's a standard call maybe the three bets not great maybe that I don't know this is what gets a bit messed up because all of a sudden we're putting quite a lot of money in but I know the Omaha um, in Omaha the equities run so close together um, I think it'd be bad to fold here and I think the three bet pre is fine it's just one of those situations where sometimes we get four bet I guess so we do peel and we flop an open and straight draw and we flop a pair in fact we flop more than an open and straight draw I think do we I'm not entirely sure what we flop um, we have an eight we have a king yeah, I guess it's just an open ender um, but anyway, we flopped pretty damn well for our hand, given that I've got a pair in a straight draw. I think from here it's just pretty much a cooler. Our opponent just bombs, we raise, he calls. And we stuck out one aces with two pairs. So I guess my review of this hand would be, did we make any mistakes at any point? You know, is a three bet a mistake? I don't think it is. Is the call a mistake? I don't think it is. And is the jam over his C bet when he's obviously got a hand a mistake? Again, I don't think it is because at every point I think I made a f an okay decision. I'm not saying we made the best decision at every point. I'm not saying I made the best decision at every point, but hopefully I made an okay decision at every point and um, it worked out because we stuck it out anyway. So, I mean, um, I'm not complaining. There are some all kinds of like potentially spewy hands to come. This is just the first of them. Um, so let me know what you think about that one. Uh, if you think I made any mistakes, please let me know. And um, I'll be happy to discuss them. So here we are with the next hand. This time we get dealt aces with the suit. Two high cards. We three bet versus my dead money. Which may be an app screen name for me. Who knows in this game. Um... And my read on this guy was he was pretty aggressive pro flop. He was he wasn't scared of just clicking the pot button, um, with some interesting holdings, shall we say? I think he was kind of he felt like he was a regular, but I think he was a not a good regular. And that's not to say I'm a good regular either. Um, but it felt to me like he was like a bad player, but not like super bad. Not like he gets like some of the super bad players you see in PLO with the super high V pips, etc. He wasn't one of those guys. He's probably someone who's trying to play well and probably play like relatively semi tight pre flop, but then maybe he wasn't great post slop. I'm not sure. But anyway, we get a pretty pretty dry board and my plan he was to just like check raise him. Um I, I'll give him a chance to stab and then get confused with kings, queens, jacks. Um, nine x from straight draws. Who knows what? But um, I kind of was pretty confident he was gonna he was gonna bet if I checked, and I just went to get check raise in rather than bet here, and then deal with any card pretty much like lower than a ten basically, which can like bring all kinds of like straights and what who knows what there. So I thought like, maybe if we check it goes check check, then we can just start betting some turns, but hopefully go to get a check raise in here and just commit to our hand on this pretty dry board. So we did check, he potted it, I repotted it, he shoves, we obviously call. And this time he's got us beat, he's got the six deuce. Um, and it's not so much what I think I want to learn from this hand myself, 
because I mean I'm happy with my line if, if you guys think there's a better line to be had then if you're just betting out the flop and just like bet jamming or something's better I mean I don't think we can ever just bet fold this flop can we I mean if the guys flopped out flopped us with like a set or some kind of two pair then just tough fuck for us I think on this dry board bet folding wouldn't seem great to me and I kind of wanted to check raise just to like get as much money in the pot as quickly as I could whilst I kind of thought I liked my hand so that was my thought process whether or not that's the right thought process to have I don't know as it happens he had flopped us dead with well not flopped us dead but he had flopped us with the six deuce um his call pre-flop I don't know um I know people never fall pre-flop in PLO but it doesn't seem like a great hand to defend to me um doesn't seem like a great that great of a hand to open I mean, maybe it isn't open from the cutoff. I wouldn't open it personally. Is that hand doesn't open from the cutoff? I think it's a pretty poor hand to me. I think it's a pretty miserable hand. But anyway, it's opened a week, in my opinion. And this is why I want my... This is where I'm going to learn from things. In my opinion, he's made a week open. And then he's defended a week open. Which, to me, seems bad. Um, and then, obviously, I think Portswap has played it fine. Swap two pair, like a three-bet pot or whatever. But I think he's played it bad pre-flop. But I want to know if I'm right there or if I'm wrong. Uh, because if that is an open pre-flop, then maybe, you know, from the cutoff, then, um, then that's something I've learned, because that doesn't feel like an open to me. So, yeah, my learning from this hand is, is, is twofold. It's, is bet call the flop going to be better than check shove or check check pot? Um, and from my opponent's point of view, is the A6-7 deuce, is that an open pre-flop? And... Probably, I imagine it has to be defend once he opens it, but is it an open pre-flop? So here we are with the next hand, it's the uh, same opponent as the previous hand, and um, he opens from the button for pot. First of all, I'm not sure if this is a three bet or not, I was kind of getting a little bit carried away with my double suited hands. Um, maybe this is just a flat, I'm not sure. Could it be a flat? Should it be a three bet? Could it just be a fold? Um, doesn't feel like it should be a fold. Um, but maybe I've got carried away. This is a, this is a hand that I feel that I've made or potentially made lots of mistakes in. Um, but I did elect a three bet. My opponent called, and then we got a pretty good flop for our hand. We've got a bottom pair and a, like a weakish straight draw. With like two backdoor flush draws so my decision here was should I just lead out with my kind of very weak mate hand and pretty weak draw can we just go for a check call and then play some turns or should we go for a check raise because we know our opponent likes to stab we seen him um, well we have we saw him stab with two pair last time but i'd seen him stab plenty in spots that with hands that probably shouldn't stab and can we think about going for a check raise here so I think the decision, and I wasn't sure what to do which was between bet, check, call, check, raise. Um, and I then did, ended up electing to just check call, I believe. And then we get a super interesting turn. Um, now, can we just lead out here? Can we lead out, try to rep aces, um, trying to get him to fold some, who knows what, pocket queens, pocket jacks maybe pocket kings even though we can't we've got a king so it's a lot less pocket kings he can have um do we go for a check race here to allow him to stab again and then just like try and blow him off wherever he has because obviously now all of a sudden our, our draws got much stronger but um kind of the, the, i guess he can have all kinds of like weak aces in his range or two pairs or things i'm not really sure at this point what to do um, I wasn't sure whether to lead out and just say fuck it and commit and just pot it and then just side call if he jammed or I wasn't sure whether to check and then maybe call a smallish bet if you bet like half pot just call try and make our our hand or maybe check raise um, I wasn't sure what to do at the time and I'll be honest I wasn't really sure afterwards <laughs> what I was supposed to do either he did pot it and I, at this point when he pots it I kind of think well I don't want to just call here and then just check for Brick Rivers for his 13 more. Um, I knew I had no fold equity, but I just thought, well, fuck it. Should we jam? Should we fold? Um, folding felt weak. Calling felt fucking awful if we just like Brick the River and just check fold. Um, 
I think I made the worst play of, the th of all my options here. And then um, I think this is spew what I did here. I think it's total spew. I am. Um, I elected to jam with Rich. I mean, it can't be terrible. We have the nut flush draw. We have a straight draw. So, I mean, obviously we have a bunch of equity. But, um, I don't know. I think I butchered the entire hand, to be honest with you. I think we butchered it from jump and then we just, like, carried on down the wormhole. And then, obviously, our opponent called. And he just showed, I mean, the flop. I've no idea what he's betting the flop. Well, maybe he's betting the flop for... Who knows what just to make me fold, I guess. Because he has like no equity on the flop or hardly any equity on the flop. Um, in terms of like my continuing range. It just feels like he doesn't. So um, then he just like bombs the turn. I mean, I, I have no idea what he's doing in the hand. No idea what I'm doing. I think it's just two guys absolutely spewing the ring up and seeing who wins. That's what this hand felt like. And for me this time. It wasn't to be, and he dragged down a pretty juicy pot. Um, but I'm, I'm more than open to criticism on this time, but hopefully constructive criticism because um, because that's that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's not about abusing each other. It's about hopefully having some good, honest discussion. And um, yeah, I think I butchered it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't butcher it as much as I feel like I did. Maybe if it was a hundred blinds deep, maybe I wouldn't feel as bad about it. I don't know. Um, yeah, I thought it was, it was a fun hand. It's a shame we lost it. Um, remember how I said the last hand, I think it was possibly the worst hand I played of the night. Um, yeah, I think we've got one coming that's probably going to be worse. Um, we elect to three bet the do three six ten because as i did say earlier by my own admission um i was kind of getting pretty fruity with double suited cards um i think this is in hindsight i think it's a really awful three bet um i think it's a horrific three bet in fact maybe back at this point i was just starting to get just a tad tilted i'm not sure because um i'd gone from maybe being about 60 euros up to being maybe 20 euros down it's nothing major but um this is what plo sometimes does to me it sometimes just makes me go a little bit crazy um so yeah i'm not at all proud of this hand but there's no shame in my game either you know we, we need to learn about these things we need to learn about how you guys when you're playing plo when you do feel like you're getting towards the end of your rope how do you contain it i mean in Nolan Holden. I contain it by just quitting usually but when I'm playing PLO and I'm seeing players that I think well, these players aren't great you know there's money to be made here I find it harder to quit sometimes um, yeah so it's definitely a mental game issue but yeah I'm pretty sure this is a really 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 poor 3 bet and then our opponent calls we flop some incredibly bad draws but lots of them we have double gut shot we have a backdoor flush draw and we have a shit flush draw so we've got an all awful lot of draws none of them to the nuts none of them even close to being the nuts um but i guess if we three bet this and pre-flop we just i feel like we have to commit with it post flop um at this point we've got like an spr of four which is it's not i'm not sure how relevant it is to be honest with you but it just feels like we have to commit at this point maybe we don't i elect to see bet our opponent raises and for some bizarre reason, like the last time we were just jammed, um, I don't know why, but this this time I just elected to um, to call, and I really don't know why. I don't remember the hand. I think if the last time was going to be a jam, this should probably be a jam too, I guess. Although, I don't know, I think fold is probably out of the question. Yeah, I just butchered the hand, so just let me know exactly how many ways I butchered it, basically. Um but fortunately we turn a straight and i let just to lead at this point I mean, we've got like the pot's massive it's gonna call with like tons of tons of worse hands i guess and then um, we river a flush which turned out okay for us but i'm not proud of that hand we won it um and i'm not proud of it you know this is your standard pot limit at home ha for me that puke session 
Uh, I think the last time was pretty spewy. I think this one's been even more spewy. But um, when I was playing, I felt, you know, I felt like I wasn't like totally out of control by any stretch of the imagination. But I think I maybe overdid it with the double suited cards. But who knows? Um, I think that hand's definitely the worst hand that I played as a lot. Though I think we should probably just fold it pre-flop. Um, but yeah, any feedback? I'd be delighted to hear. So this is the last hand of the video. It's the biggest pot too. We elect to open queens with a jack and an eight. Not the best of hands, but clearly it's an open from the cutoff. Um, and from here on, it's just pretty much a total cooler. We flop top set with a flush draw. We get raised. Um, I three bet, which I'm presuming is completely standard. Obviously, there's tons and tons of like draws. He's going to be happy to get it in with you, and we're going to have like ridiculously good equity. Um, he jams. We flip the call, and this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is just completely standard from both of our points of view. Um, yeah, it's a shame to lose a 300 big blind pot. We had the best of it on the flop, of course. He, I mean, he basically he thinks he's got a ton of equity here with his um his two pair is flush draw so he's done nothing at all wrong as far as i can tell nothing whatsoever wrong he's flopped two pair and a flop and the second nut flush draw of course he's going to say let's go um sadly for him he's only got the flush draw going for him and then sadly for me he then goes and like rivers the flush which um which is kind of unfortunate but um yeah I think that one's just a standard cooler i put it in just because it was like a big pot but um i don't think anyone's done anything wrong there i think it's just completely standard and um yeah sucks for me so there we go um yeah please do give me some feedback on the video please do let me know how you would have played the hands if you would have done anything differently i'm aware that hands three and four were probably quite shit from my perspective um and then the two aces hand hand number two there's definitely things i could have done differently there i think this hand number five is just completely standard but yeah if you are going to give me some feedback even if you think i played really badly could you at least try and be pleasant with it um because if you're just flat out unpleasant and um just basically want to turn around and call me a fucking fish or whatever which is fine if you're actually opinion entitled to it you're not going to get my attention but um i'm interested in in hearing what some learning players and some good players think of the hands and think of the lines that i took and think of my thoughts on my opponent's lines too so um i think we'll leave it there hope you guys enjoyed it and um yeah, we'll probably do another one of these soon. I guess I'm going to play some 10 PLO whilst I'm still learning. Um, I think the swings at 25 are going to be more than I want to deal with at the moment. Um, I'm not really roll for 25 PLO and Unibet. I mean, I imagine you're going to need 50 to 100 buy-ins to play 25 PLO and on Unibet currently I have no any of that because I have my uni I have my bankroll spread around lots of sites so I think we're going to stick with the dicking around with Unibet uh, with PLO for a while but probably 10 PLO until I get a better handle on um, what the fuck I'm doing basically so yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you soon bye bye for now